Colorado tonight takes us to Boulder, where more than a dozen people are hurt when a bus crashes. Investigators say a car turned in front of that bus, causing it to teeter on the side of the road here. This happened near 65th and Arapaho, near that train derailment that we talked about yesterday. We're going to have more on that investigation in just a moment. First, though, let's talk to Jennifer Bryce about today's crash. This accident happened around 9 a.m. You can see over my shoulder that an RTD bus flipped on its side is hanging over the edge of a concrete wall, and I'm told 14 people on board had to self-evacuate. There were 14 people inside this RTD bus when it flipped over. Colorado State Patrol says the bus was driving westbound on Arapaho. A car was driving eastbound, attempting to turn when its vision was blocked by a semi-truck. The car turned in front of the bus and they collided. As a result, the bus pushed onto the curb, smashed into a long fence, and then went over the concrete wall. The Rocky Mountain Fire District says everyone on that bus is okay and got out on their own. 14 people ended up with minor injuries. One person was taken to the hospital. They did have their extrication equipment to stabilize the bus while they were ensuring everybody was out of the bus to make sure that the bus didn't fall while they were working around it. You can also see part of this accident that the fencing that was along this wall was taken down by the bus scraping along the side of the wall for a very long distance. The power lines, I'm told, were also cut off and are being repaired by Excel. In Boulder, Jennifer Bryce, CBS4 News.